And this week is National Crime Victims' Rights Week. WDHN State Capitol reporter Matty Beer Temple has more from law enforcement and a victims' rights organization recognizing this occasion. Law enforcement officials want the public to know if you see something, say something by calling them or Crime Stoppers. They say it might just help bring closure to a victim's family. Police from across the state met with Crime Stoppers and media to talk about the importance of public information in solving cases. Brundage Police Chief Sam Green says the job often goes beyond the crime scene. I think it's very important, uh, not just uh, to, to solve crimes, but also help the family with healing, the healing process. That healing process can take a lifetime. Jeanette Grantham with Victims of Crime and Leniency or Vocal works to shed light on the lasting impact crime can have on a family. Every year, Vocal sets up white crosses by the Capitol, each one representing a homicide victim from the year before. I hope the impact is that they stop and they think about the victim and what the victim has to go through and the families that are left behind. It's never over for them. Grantham says there are typically between 300 to 350 homicides each year, every cross calling attention to the human toll. They didn't ask to be victims. They didn't ask to die. It's important that we remember them and the price that they paid and the price that their family still pays. Ed and Eileen Carlson are visiting Montgomery from Birmingham. They say crime in their own city has made them think twice before going out. It's, it's just heartbreaking to hear every day. You know, young people, children, innocent children hit by stray bullets. And, um, you know, it really it, it gives us pause before we go downtown. Now, Vocal will be holding a vigil right here this Friday at 7 p.m. to remember those lost to crime in Alabama. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.